So, a warm welcome to all of you to another lecture on this course on simulation of communication systems using MATLAB. In the last lecture, we had started discussing Markov chains and we had uh, identified or uh, we had uh, discussed how to form a Markov chain using uh, three steps, identify the possible states of the system, identify the transitions and uh, identify the transition probabilities. So, as an example, we considered a rainy day example and showed this and in this lecture, we will first look at another couple of examples of forming Markov chains and then we will talk about other properties of Markov chains. So, here is the first example, we call it Mr. Mooney. So, on a given day, Mr. Mooney is either happy, meh means so-so uh, or sad. So, because so-so and sad both start with S, so I called it meh. And uh, so, therefore, Mr. Mooney's mood can exist in three states. So, I say Mr. Mooney's mood can exist in three states, happy. So, Mr. Mooney's mood can exist in three states, happy, meh and sad. So, there are three possible states which is clear Mr. either happy meh or sad. So, if he is happy today, then he will be happy meh or sad with probability 0 0.5, 0 0.4 and 0 0.1 on the next day. I should add a tomorrow here. So, if he is happy today, he will be happy with a probability 0 0.5 tomorrow. So, I add a self edge here and say that he is happy with the probability 0 0.5. If he is happy today, he will be meh with the probability 0 0.4, this and sad with the probability 0 0.1. If he is so so today or meh today, he will be happy with the probability 0 0.3. So, the probability of going from 0.3, the self is he is may today and he is may tomorrow is 0 0.4 and sad is 0 0.3. Sad to happy, the probability is 0 0.2. So, if he is sad, he will be happy with the probability 0 0.2 on the next day he will be meh with a probability 0 0.3 and he will be sad with a zero probability 0 0.5, this. So, these are the states of the Markov chain. Naturally, we can draw the probability transition matrix as happy, meh, sad, happy, meh, sad. So, probability that he is happy 0.5. 0 0.4, 5, 0 0.4, 0 0.1, 0 0.3, 0 0.3, this. So, this is the probability transition matrix and this gives you the probability of him being happy, sad or may on the next day. So, this and uh, now, we will use the textbook. So, this is the textbook introduction to probability models by Sheldon Ross. So, we have used it uh, for some things or the Markov chains that we have discussed here are a condensed version of uh, the Markov chains that uh, we have considered or whatever we are doing in Markov chains. So, this is a condensed version of the same. So, we will do this and uh, so now we will look at another example rain on two days that is what happens when the rain, so what happens, happens when the probability of rain on a given day depends on, on the past two days. So, 
this example is important because uh, you might be tempted to say that if we consider, consider the weather on a given day as a state, then naturally this depends on two past days, then the next state depends on two past states and this is not a Markov chain. Naturally say that uh, if it depends on the weather of the two past days and the weather of one day is a state then naturally this is not a Markov chain because by definition Markov chain it depends only on the past state. But and uh, herein lies the beauty of the Markov chains. We can always say that it is no way said that uh, the state is just you have to make uh, the state just one day that is not a rule. So, what you can say is that so in this case, this case we can still fit this system within the framework of Markov chains, you can still fit the system within the framework of Markov chains and say that one state is based on the weather conditions the past one state is based on the weather conditions of the past two days and with two days based on the rain there can be four states so you can say that rr it has rained on both the past two days, it has rained on both of the past two days, Rn has rained yesterday but not today, Nr it has rained today. So, the first variable represents uh, yesterday and this but not yesterday it has not rained either today or yesterday. So, these are the four possible states in this n. So, let me quickly draw a diagram here. RR, NR, RN, and these. So, if it has rained both today and yesterday and it rains the next day then we stay in the state rr but if it has rained today it has rained today and it doesn't rain tomorrow then we go to the state nr sorry we go to the state rn we go to the state rn but if it has rained today then if it rains tomorrow then tomorrow's yesterday is today's today so we stay in this state. So, on either day it can either rain or not rain. So, if it rains tomorrow then we stay in the same state, but it if it does not rain tomorrow we go in the Rn state which means that it has rained yesterday, but uh, it did not rain today. So, from this state we cannot go to it did not rain yesterday, but it rained today or it rained neither today nor yesterday. So, this is a finitely connected or not all states are directly connected to each other. The next thing is we look at this. So, here 
इट कैन आइदर रेन टुमारो और इट कैन नॉट रेन टुमारो और यस इफ इट रेन्स टुमारो देन वी गो हियर एंड इफ इट डज नॉट रेन टुमारो वी गो टू दिस स्टेट सो इफ इट डज नॉट रेन टुमारो देन इट गोज टू द इंडियन स्टेट इफ इट रेन्स टुमारो सॉरी इफ इट रेन्स टुमारो देन इट गोज टू द in our state there is no way you can go from rn to nn and uh, then similarly with nn you can either stay here because uh, if it does not rain tomorrow you stay here if it rains tomorrow you go to the nr state and in the nr state you naturally cannot stay in this state if it rains tomorrow it goes to the rr state if it does not rain tomorrow it goes to the rn state so i will draw a cleaner version of this diagram on the next page because i and repeat the steps so if it has rained both today and yesterday and it rains tomorrow then you stay in the same state if it does not rain tomorrow you go into the rn state in the rn state if it rains tomorrow you go to the nr state if it does not rain tomorrow you go to the nn state in the nn state if it rains tomorrow you go to the nr state if it does not rain tomorrow you stay in the nn state and similarly from the nr state if it rains tomorrow you go to the rr state if it does not rain tomorrow you go to the rn state so naturally with this and uh, we'll now say probability so that uh, if it has rained for the past two days then it will rain tomorrow with a probability 0.7 or you will stay in this state so naturally you it won't rain with a probability 0.3 so this edge is 0.3 if it has rained today but not yesterday then it will rain tomorrow with a probability 0.5 and it won't rain tomorrow with a probability 0.5 if it rained yesterday but not today then it will rain tomorrow with a probability 0.4 0.4 and it won't rain with a probability 0.6 0.2 0.8 so this and if i try to construct the matrix then rr rn nr nn rr or rather i would put it this way R R R N N R N N. So R R to R R zero point seven. R R to R N zero point three. Zero zero. Because there is no probability of transition to these two states. R N to R N. There is no self edge here, so zero. It can either go to R N. It can either go to N R, which is zero point four, or it can go to nn which is 0.6 so nr to nn there is no problem there is nothing and nr to rn there is a probability 0.5 and a probability 0.5 to rr similarly nn 0.8 the self edge and 0.2 to so this is the markov uh, matrix or the probability transition matrix for a weather model that depends on the past two days we can naturally reduce anything to a state model and uh, get the consequent probability so now say that if i have some initial probabilities then naturally say i ask a question did not rain yesterday but today it will rain with a probability 0.3 then what is the probability of it raining tomorrow 
so it did not rain yesterday so since let x in denote the state today let x n denote the state today then probability of x n equals r r equals probability of r n equals 0 x n equals r n probability of x n equals n r equals 0 0.3 probability of x n equals n n equals 0.7. So, I construct a vector p that looks like 0, 0, 0 0.3, 0 0.7 or p n this is p n then probability of raining tomorrow will be p n plus 1 equals p times p n equals 0 0.7, 0 0.3, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.4, 5, 0.5, this. So, times 0, 0, 0, 0.3, 0 0.7. So, we have to calculate this. So, let us do that quickly in MATLAB. So, clear all. So, that said, we say that let me define P n equals. So, P n equals 0, 0, 0.3, 7, and p equals 7 comma 3 comma 0 comma 0 semicolon 0 comma 0 0 0.4 comma 6 semicolon 0 0.5 comma 0 0.5 comma 0 comma 0 semicolon 0 comma 0 and this so we get the matrix p and we get p n and naturally p n plus 1 is p 1. So, I call it p n p 1 equals p times p n and we get this 0 0.54 and 0 0.62. So, which means that uh, the probability of n r. So, 5 to 0, 0. Point, 0. 0.54 and 0. 0.62, 0. 0.54 and some problem. Oh, I should use the transpose perhaps because no, there is no, oh, we messed up the definition. So, it should be P and transpose P. the row vector and this is right, but uh, why are these probabilities not adding to 1? So, let us do this manually first and then see what MATLAB is doing wrong. So, we are our formulation is flawed and uh, hence we cannot use this for uh, uh, to calculate the future probabilities. We will come up uh, with an example of uh, calculating the future probabilities uh, at an appropriate point in time because uh, actually what we are doing wrong here is that uh, the probability of rain today is this. So, it can go either into these two. So, R n is 
trains tomorrow given it rains today So this should be RR. Sorry, this is NR and this one RR. Sorry, NR. This is right. NR is zero point. Oh, so I made entered these wrong. This should be so this should be zero point seven, zero point three. Seven and this is zero point three. Still not adding up to one, that is a problem. This is Markov matrix, all right. So this is an error, we will return to this problem later in the course or we will look at this problem later. But we know that how do we, given that the probabilities for today, we want to know the probabilities for 10 days in advance. So that is where the chapman Kolmogorov identity comes in picture, so into the picture, so that we say that if Pn is the state probability vector for today, then p n plus 1 equals p times p n, then p n plus 2 will be p times p n plus 1 equals p square n and in general p n equals p to the power n times p0. This So, this is the general rule for Markov chains and uh, the probability transition matrix for m states ahead is given by this. So, now some definitions regarding states in Markov chains. So, the state j is said to be accessible from state i if for some n p to the power n i j is not equal to 0 or that is for some power of the Markov matrix or some power of the Markov matrix there exists a non-zero probability of transitioning between those two states. So, if we look at our RAIN example again, if I say that what will be the transition probabilities for two days, so if I look at this, so naturally you see that if I look at uh, the answer here p square. So, all the states have non-zero transition probabilities or you can simply say that uh, in two days each state or uh, regardless of where you are now, you can be in any of the states two days later with uh, fixed probability. So, in two days you can transcend to any of the states. So, each state is accessible from each every other state and you say that uh, the state j is said to be accessible from state i if uh, so this is true. Then two set states are said to communicate if they are accessible from each other. That is uh, you can at n steps in the future, you can go from state i to state j or state j to state i in that uh, Markov chain. So, then those two states are said to communicate. Now, and communication is associative. That is if state i communicates with state j and state j communicates with state k, then state i communicates with state k. 
this is uh, given. For any state i, we let f i denote the probability that starting in state i, the process will re-enter state i. That is, you have a Markov chain, it starts from some state and uh, then if there is a probability that re-enter state i at any future point, then the state i is said to be recurrent that if it is sure to, so the state i is said to be recurrent if f i equals 1 that is the process is sure to return to state i and transient if f i is less than 1 that is process may not return to state i. So, this is about the states. Now, we will quickly talk about uh, the limiting probabilities. In general, for a Markov chain, we know that p n plus 1 equals p times p n. This is true. But what if the state probabilities do not change. That is the Markov chain reaches a steady state and the state probabilities stop evolving with time. Is this possible? Naturally, this is possible and uh, in that case p n plus 1 equals p n equals pi and pi equals p pi or you can say that if the probabilities are not evolving with time, we are at a constant probability distribution and this is it. Then pi is an eigenvector of p corresponding to the eigenvalue 1. So, now we will look at a property of the Markov matrix. So, we will just look at one property of the Markov matrix that will help us figure this out. So, we would not prove this because this is not a course on Markov chains and we are going much slower than what uh, I had anticipated. So, one property of the Markov matrix. P in general is invertible and for all eigenvalues lambda i of P 0 less than equal to lambda i less than equal to 1 or minus 1 less than equal to lambda i less than 1 with one eigenvalue of p always being 1. If there are more than one eigenvalues equal to 1, that leads to a problem and uh, that is a case that uh, we will not consider right now. Those who are interested again, look at that case. You can look at uh, Sheldon Ross's book on probability models and uh, see how do we deal with that case. But uh, now, if we say that we have that, so now let us look at MATLAB and we say that our matrix P, this is the matrix and if I look at it, these are the eigenvalues, there is naturally an eigenvalue 1. So, naturally this will be true for all Markov matrices. So, what makes this special? That is the question. So, the answer is that uh, since P is a square matrix with eigenvalues less than 1, with all but 1 eigenvalues 1. 
less than one. Right. P equals Q lambda Q inverse and lambda equals one lambda one to lambda n. So in general P to the power n equals Q lambda and Q inverse equals lambda to the power n lambda one to the power n or lambda power k lambda n to the power k and now for a large enough k since these are all strictly less than 1 this can be approximated as 1 0 0 0 0 so this essentially becomes a rank 1 matrix dominated by the principal eigenvector of uh, p so the principle of eigenvector of p and uh, will govern the behavior of uh, this equation or will govern the eigenvalues or will give you the steady state probabilities for uh, the eigenvector so let us look at this so let me say that so p to the power 50 p 50 we'll call this p 50 and say that this and so I get P50 as a 4 cross 4 matrix. So you see that this is more or less constant or this gives me more or less constant probabilities with if you look at eigenvalues of P50 or this is more or less a rank 1 matrix which is as expected first eigenvalue is 1 all the other eigenvalues are very close to 0. So which is as expected even for 10 it will not be that close but still P10 if I look at it so these are still converging to those values but still you get more or less a steady state uh, probability distribution for all the probabilities. So this finishes our discussion on Markov chains now let us look at uh, that weather problem again and uh, say where we made an error. So if it did not rain yesterday but today it will rain with a probability 0.3 what is the probability of raining tomorrow. So let us clear the canvas out and uh, let us relook at this problem and see what was the error that we were making. So yes, so it did not rain yesterday so it since it did not rain yesterday means that xn denote the state today let x n denote the state today then since it did not rain yesterday probability of x n equals R n equals probability of X n equals R r equals 0. So, R n equals so the first two columns are clearly 0 the third column is probability of xn equals nr equals 0 0.3 probability of xn equals rr equals 0 0.7. So probability of xn plus 1 equals sorry n and then x n plus 1 equals probability that it rains today and it rains tomorrow. So this equals it 
genes today but not tomorrow which means that shouldn't be the case. I will check this and uh, we will add a correction video for this later. Thank you.